رمضان تجلى وابتسم طوبى للعبد إذا تنما A husband and a wife are supposed to fast for two months consecutively because they broke fast early as a result of intimacy during the fasting hours of Ramadan. The wife tried not to give in to the desires but ended up giving in as to not anger her husband. Can the couple substitute some days of fasting with feeding the poor? What are some of the ways that they can make up for this nullified fast other than fasting for two months in a row? Well, for the sister, for the wife, for not angering her husband, she has angered Allah. And that is the wrong choice. The Prophet said, والسلام, there is no obedience to a creature in disobeying the Creator. So definitely, she is sinful. If she resisted in the beginning and gave in during, she is sinful. If she resisted from the beginning till the end and kept on fighting, then her fast is valid and she has no expiation to be done. Now, to substitute, this is a luxury that we do not have in Islam. Either you fast the full 60 days or you're unable. And your inability is not judged by your own whims and, whims and desires. A mufti should tell you, yes, you're unable. So if you are chronically ill, if you're too weak, if you are unable to fast due to a legitimate reason related to health, then yes, you can feed 60 people. But if you just simply feel bored, or don't want to, or you have lame excuses, this doesn't work. It, you cannot fast like 50 days and feed 10 people. It doesn't work like this. This is not the uh, stock exchange market that you can pick and choose different portfolios. Nope. You have to fast the 60 days and you have to do this believing and hoping that Allah will forgive you because what you have done is a serious offense and a serious sin. So when we say you have to fast 60 days, this is not accurate. You have to fast two consecutive months. So if I start fasting on the 15th of Muharram, I finish on the 15th of Rabi al Awwal. Whether Muharram was 29 days or 30, it doesn't matter. Whether Safar was 29 days or 30, it doesn't matter. Two consecutive months. Began at 15, finished at 15. Now, if I missed and I fasted the whole period, but on the 13th of Rabi'ah, I didn't fast for no legitimate reason. What should I do? It's very simple begin fasting two consecutive months. See, when we say consecutive, mean that you do not break it except with a legitimate reason. What do you mean, Sheikh, legitimate reason? Well, a woman is fasting two consecutive months, she gets her period. Seven days, she cannot fast. Today, she saw her purity, she took ghusl. Tomorrow, she must fast. If she missed tomorrow, she should start over from day one. But if she fasted a month and got her menses for a week. And the eighth day she fasts, then this is number 31. One month, and this is the first, 31st. A person travels legitimately. I work in a company. They tell me to go one week to London. It's a legitimate excuse. Full week, I do not fast. When I come back, immediately I have to fast. I started fasting the month of the Qa'dah, the full, and then nine days of the Hijjah, and then I had Eid, and the three days of Tashriq, which is haram for a resident to fast. I have to break my fast. Eid, three days afterwards. Then what? Immediately on the 14th of the Hijjah, I have to resume fasting. So the month of the Qa'dah, nine days of the Hijjah, 39, 
starting from 14, this is the 40th day onwards. If I fall sick, I can break my fast and continue after I recover. Well, Sheikh, what do you mean sick? Because I, I got a wound in my finger. Oh, I've, can I break my fast? No, Akhi. This does not impact your fasting. So like I have a, a knee pain. Doesn't impact your fasting. I broke my leg. Doesn't impact your fasting. Something that does with your health. So you have stomach ache. You have severe migraines that requires you take a lot of painkillers. You have something that is making your fever high or your power low. This is a legitimate reason. You may break your fast. Once you recover, immediately you have to follow, continue and complete. And Allah knows best. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمُ وَبَارَكْ عَلَى نَبِيَنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ